Hey everyone and welcome back to the misadventures of Tron Bon, where last time we took on our second trip into Sart Farm to continue collecting money to pay off the interest on our loan. And then we spent basically all the money we earned on upgrades for the Gustav, but it'll be worth it. I promise it will be very, very worth it to have those upgrades. As we are heading out once again into the Nakai Desert in order to hunt down Diana's Tear. All right then, out to the Nakai Desert. Let's do this. The goal of this mission is to find all the treasure buried inside the ruins. All right, let's get this mission meeting started. The details in Robot for the mission are the same as usual, though we are using bonbon colors for the goose stuff. Oh! We have the surge cannon, but we can switch for the Gatling gun? Or the bazooka? Um... Interesting. I think we might specifically want to go in with the bazooka. I didn't know that it was something you swap out from this menu. I thought it was something you would equip while you're in the ruins. I hope the bazooka is the right option because if you'll remember last time we went into the ruins, the big issue we ran into was we had several walls that we needed to destroy, but our, our gun just wasn't strong enough to do that. All right, let's go ahead and set up our serve bots. We have several options for sniper. Let's see, who do we need to get the brain set up for? I'll use that to prioritize. Oh gosh, number eight's a sniper. Number eight needs their brain sets up, but their attack is only one. And that actually kind of really sucks. That would hurt us significantly. I'm sorry, number eight, but your attack stat's just so low, I can't use you and feel safe. We use one, we use number one a lot. Let's see, there's number nine, who has a slightly lower attack, better speed than number one, so may, may be worth taking them. Um, other snipers, we have number 25, who needs a lot of training. Speaking of, I did get numbers 21 to 24 trained up between episodes. Are there no other snipers? Just those four? Then I think we're gonna have to go with number nine. Give you a chance to shine. These are the other servbots who'll be going with you on the mission. 23, 27, 5, 7, 8, and 11. Let's go ahead and change this up in order to focus on brains. The people who need their brains up are numbers five, um, eight, 11, 21, 24, and then ideally 20, but 20 is not available yet because we still have not had a serve bot hit a sloth rating of four. But we have several who are just on the verge of getting there. So please, one of you, one of you hit a sloth of four during this mission, please. I would appreciate it so much. Okay, in terms of abilities, we're bringing in... No one with attacks. No one with specific attacks. So you know what? We're gonna bring Rapid with number three because we haven't brought in and checked out Rapid yet. Yes, Miss Tron, let's do this. All right, let's get started. It of course has not changed, the dungeon is identical. We just have better items. We have more health. I believe we have a few more healing items and we have a bazooka now. That's a pretty powerful bazooka. Look at it, look at it go. The big thing that's different is having our bazooka should allow us to smash through walls in order to uh, find what's on the other side. So, we're going to be going through basically the entire dungeon again, through all the areas we went through before, looking to see if there's anything new, any walls we can blow up, in order to find new areas and new loot. Right, you're a red one, you've got a lot of health. Eh, you went down- oh, you're not down yet? Oh gosh. Thank you, sir, but... 
Okay, it doesn't look, according to the map, like there's gonna be anything over here. We can watch as we go around to see if anything might actually be available down there, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I do remember there were paths down this way that needed the bazooka. Let's see. I don't think there was anything in this first door. No, I don't believe there's anything at all in there, nor in the second door, nor in the third. We just want to go all the way around to... Oh god, the room with the dragon things. That's gonna be rough with the bazooka, I think. Yep, okay, let's move. It doesn't help that the bazooka makes us actually stand still while we fire it. Oh crap, hi! You're almost under me. Can you pop up, please? You're not gonna... There we go. Ooh, attacking these things with the bazooka is gonna actually kinda suck. I'm not a fan of this. Bazooka may be powerful, but it it's definitely a bit more situation than our situational than our regular gun. And we do have a lower attack power since we swapped out for a lower attack serve bot. Okay, well thankfully we just have plenty of health. There we go, one down. That immediately lightens the threat. Oh god. Hi, hi, hi! Move! Don't just stand in the fire. Not that I have much of a choice, given it makes me stand still to fire my bazooka! Okay, I thought I saw it pop out down there, but I guess if it was popped out, it'd be too far away. Okay, I got two shots in on the one that was closer to me, and I... These things have a lot of health, oh wow. I hate these dragons, I really do. There, there might be a trick to fighting them that I'm just not aware of. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna need to use some of those E-bottles when we're done with this room. Good thing I have plenty. I might be too far away right there. That might be what was going on why that didn't seem to be hitting. Please get off of me, please get off of me. There we go, okay. Whew, this room, this, this room. Let's go ahead and use an E-bottle. Uh, E-bottle two, we've got plenty of you. Didn't quite heal us all the way, but that's perfect. We didn't want a full heal. Full heals means you're wasting it. I could definitely stand to use my serve bots a bit more. Nice splash damage. Okay, I'm not gonna worry too much about the money because I do not want to just drop in that ant lion pit. No, no, I want to blow it up myself. Looks like you can break through it with something strong. Indeed, it's called a bazooka. And the loot we have in here. We found an attack cube. Okay, well, it's not, not quite what I would have liked to have. I would prefer speed cubes if those can be found, but hmm, I don't think there's gonna be anything else this way, but eh, we'll keep looking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure past here is just the boss room and then the treasure room, so I don't think there's going to be anything else, but we'll take a look. Yeah, this is just the boss room. Who goes down very... Oh, no, not yet. What was with that explosion if you're not dying? How dare you deceive me? 
There we go, now it's dead. Yeah, that was an easy boss. Go, Servbots, quickly! Uh, don't think they got anything. And yeah, this is just a treasure room, so there was nothing else over here. In that case, if there's nothing else on this end of the dungeon, let's get back to the main central hallway, because I know there was a, at least one, no, definitely two cracks in that hallway we want to check out. I do have a list of a few items we want to pick up while we're in here. There should be three new major items to pick up before we leave. So we're going to have quite a bit of loot coming our way. But good to know that these first couple of branching hallways are completely done at this point it seems. Okay, here we go. This breaks open. And looks very suspicious. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not sure what's with the stone floor, but I don't like it. Oh god. Okay, you're fast. I don't appreciate that. Okay, room is clear. Thurbuds, what can you find in this little hole in the wall? Hooray, loot! Alright, next room. Oh no! More! Okay, it only seems to be like two of them. So a bit easier, I suppose? But also the room's much smaller. Okay, there we go. You went down in just a few hits. I think I'll use an E-Bottle 1 for this room. We aren't taking too much damage and it's almost certainly about to die. Or not. Okay, let's stand closer then. There we go, I was one shot off. Okay, should just be fine with an E-Bottle 1. And we've already earned 111,000 zenny in this dungeon. Okay, this looks like a boss room, maybe? Oh no. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, and they're basically all red. Yeah, I kind of let them get up on me. That was a bad move. Okay, one down. I'm losing that money. I am losing that money. At least we can get money from these two. Two thirds is better than nothing. Far better than nothing. And the loot for this area is... Miss Tron, we found 50,000 zenny and still... Hmm. Nothing. The money, the money's definitely something. I'm not saying the money's nothing. But, like I said, there's three specific items we should be getting in this area. So I've got a bad feeling we're about to get pretty deep. There's about to be a pretty deep bit of exploration for us to do. 
Okay, so this is the last breakable wall I know of. So this will be probably where everything is at. Okay, we've got water. Hmm. Well, can't reach it and there doesn't seem to be anything in it. I don't like the look of that on the map, the big square. I don't like this. This feels like a Hanmaru doll. Nothing? N n nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Are you really? Oh, weird. I'm terrified now. Let's go south first. And then west? Looks like this leads quickly to a dead end, so... No, no, never mind. It does keep going. But I think that's the end up there on the left of the map. Alright, what's the trap here? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Small room. Get off, get off. Did the other one fall asleep? Did it knock itself out? I guess it fell asleep. Okay, back up. And we're good, we're good. Oh, I'm so glad I have so many e-bottles. I'm so glad I didn't end up selling them. Oop, didn't mean to fully heal. Oh well. We have plenty, we have plenty. It'll be fine, we have plenty. Can you tell I'm actually a little bit scared? More than a little bit scared. Oh, we, ooh, my gosh. This place is big. This is a big dungeon. Oh god, more of these jerks. And they've got friends. This is not what I needed today. Please, you're already hard enough to fight with a bazooka. There have to be so many of you. Okay, one down. Oh crap, I'm missing. Need to aim better, maybe use the lock on. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on healing. We should be good for a bit. This is stressful. I'm honestly stressed about this dungeon. This is a lot. There is a lot of dungeon here. Okay, we found a brain cube. Come on. Wow, the game is just not giving me anything that I really particularly am looking for. I'd love to know how to get to you, but it looks like we need to take another path around to the south and then loop back. gonna be by far the biggest dungeon exploration yet. I am terrified to find out how they're gonna make us come back for a third trip. Because I know they make us come back for a third trip, I just don't know how. Hmm. We'll deal with that later. For now, south should loop us around to the chest we saw. Nothing? Big room with nothing in it. All right, what's the enemy here? Show me. <sighs> More antlions. Oh God. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Of 
course they're coming from all directions. Alright, back up. Oh, come on, camera, please. Okay, yep, I'm taking a, I'm taking a, I'm gonna take an energy bottle. Let's go for a two. And move it. I think I got a good chunk of damage in there, so that definitely was worth it. All right, there we go. All three die at once. Very worth it. Okay. Tree? 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 Why is there a tree down here in the du- What? Not only is this a ruin, this is a desert! It's a ruin in a desert, why- Tree? Well, goodbye tree. I hope I don't regret that. Why is there a tree down here? What? Oh, I'm loving this game. Oh god. Hi. And move. Oh, come on, I got stuck. Oh, hi. Stuck indeed. And move. You hold it down, I'll get the money. Thank you, my beloved Servbots. You're doing wonderful work. Tron does not appreciate you enough. Okay, more enemies. Oh, really? You have to stick them right on top of me like that. One down? God, the most annoying thing is they just charge at you, which is like one of my, one of the things I'm weakest at when it comes to horror. Not that this is intended to be horror by any means, but you get the idea. It's one of those things that just kind of puts you really on edge. Okay, so this should bring us to the other, uh, the treasure chest we saw. Miss Tron, we found an old instrument. Oh, absolutely worthwhile that we got that. Fantastic. Honestly, I didn't have that on my list. I should probably actually write that down. Okay, I have written down that I got the old instrument. There is water. With money in it, okay. Good thing I thought to check. Guess that's it for this area. Now to trek all the way back. Thankfully, straight shot. Don't need to worry about enemies. I really hope I don't regret destroying that tree. Okay, I remember there was a hole in the wall up this way. What do we have in there? Servbots, please. Okay, it's not a lot, but it is something. What are we up to? 300,000. This may be a little bit slow going, but at least we're getting a ton of money out of it. Very, very worthwhile. Okay, we've got a door there. And a path back that way. Let's take the door and then we'll loop back to the left. I imagine this will loop back on itself at some point. Yep, okay, that's what I thought. Oh, hi! Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad combination. It's 
Sir Butts, please. I thought I told you to get onto the ant lion that was right in front of me. Okay, at least we know for next time we come in here for the inevitable third trip that we are going to need to really stock up on e-bottles. Okay, follow you, and as soon as you pop up... Oh, crap, 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 crap! Wrong button, but we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. I, again, really wish I could pull up like a full map of this area. There's almost certainly... No! There's one behind me. Yep, okay. There's almost certainly someone's made a full map of this area, but I didn't bother to look it up because I kind of wanted to go in and explore myself. But at the same time, while I'm in here, I'm like, please, I would love a map. Yeah, I'm gonna need a ton of e-bottles when I come in for the next trip. At least for the next trip, I will almost certainly... There's no way I won't know where I'm going to need to go for the last trip, right? So I'll know I can just rush right there? Which should save quite a bit of time and effort? Alright, we found a memento! Okay. Hang on. Wait a minute. A memento. Okay, so both the memento and the old instrument I have listed as being in the third section, or the third trip through this dungeon. That's concerning. I've been going off of the information I was given, but it's possible the information I was given was wrong. Okay, well, nothing's coming over this way, so I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine, but I'm gonna definitely want to... Yeah, there we go. We're good. We're good. I got a couple more rooms before the end of this path. Another one of you! I imagine you're gonna be stronger, but... You're not exactly an intimidating enemy. Though you are certainly spitting out a lot of your children. God, and you have a lot of health. Okay, no, that those shots were missing everything. I was hoping to get right between the children and the main thing and hit them both, but... Alright, Servbots, go collect the money. As much as you can. That That's all you got? Alright then. And it looks like we're actually about to loop back on... Huh. Very interesting. Zerbots, can you check out the... No. They're not able to get there. Nothing on the right. We're clear. How about... Oh. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I did not want to do this yet. I don't think we can do this yet. Oh god. Okay, so apparently you can go just right up to the boss. 
Apparently you can in fact just go right up to the boss. I have made a horrible mistake. I have made a horrible error. I, how, I'm, I'm not damaging it. I'm not damaging it in the slightest. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Oh no. Can I flee? I cannot flee. I cannot damage it. Oh my god, I think I'm about to die. There has to be something we have to do in the dungeon first before we can damage it. It's sitting in the liquid. It's just kind of sitting in the liquid, so maybe we need to shut off the liquid somehow? I'm not sure, but... Okay, good to know. We found the boss. Are you all right? We need to regroup. <laughs> Everyone back to the Gessel Shaft. Yes, ma'am. I am very curious what we need to do in order to get through that boss. We weren't able to complete the mission. Fair. Number eight did go to a brains of four. Let me go ahead and mark that down. That is reason to celebrate. Number four is, uh, number eight is done with that. Number 11 has maxed out their brains. Number 24 has hit three, which is not max yet. We got a riot shield. Uh, we got an e-bottle three, good. We got a brain cube, still no speed cubes. And finally got the torture room. We'll check the torture room after. After we finish this exploration. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and dive right back in. There's still a few items that I definitely need to grab before we are done with this second trip into the ruins. And I want to go find where they're at. Alright, so I have pulled up a map. I pulled up a map because we have explored quite a bit of this dungeon and it'll be good to have an idea of where specifically we haven't gone so we can do this a little bit more expediently for the purposes of just finishing it up. I also did double check and the source I was using to help me figure out what items I would be getting in each section just so I would be aware um, did specifically split up this dungeon into an extra third section. Uh, just so that you could back out and come back in with a more optimized set of equipment for your fight against the boss. Which that makes sense. And actually multiple guides I've looked at. Uh, not for the purpose of like mapping out, oh I'm, I know exactly what's gonna happen and where, but just so I can get an idea of what to expect. Multiple guides have specified, hey, you should probably come in a third time. <sighs> I did end up pulling out a map, though, to make this a bit more expedient. And there is a treasure chest up here. If you remember, this is the first big dead-end hallway we went into. You had an ancient pistol. That's one of the three items I was specifically looking for. Got it. But yeah, it looks like several different guides have all split this dungeon up into three sections, even though there's technically only two. Just because, oh god. Oh god. There's so much. So yeah, that, that's fair. That explains why... That, that explains why we're ending up finding things that I thought we weren't going to get to later. Alright, so heading back this way. We have already explored quite a bit of that area. But, it does appear that there is an item I may have missed. Yes. I missed this hole in the wall, I believe. It just has money. That's, that's reasonable. There's another area down here, which I think I've, I actually did already go to. I think I did go into this room already, but I want to double check just in case. Oh, I didn't! Well then, the map's supposed to be your giveaway here. Okay, something's not right. I'm about to get attacked. I'm about to get attacked. 
Check this Tron, we found a rusted tank. There's the second missing item. Oh, thank goodness for the map. Okay. Now we can head back up this way. That path right there just leads to the other end of a path we saw before. It doesn't lead anywhere new. And now we want to head up this way. And this will actually take us towards the boss, but we can't quite get there. Now we want to head in this room. Interesting. Sir Butts, will that take you all the way through? It will. Good work, and we found an iron plate. And with that, I believe we have now seen everything in this dungeon other than beating the boss. Okay, good. It was just a really quick sprint through to get the last few things we missed. Let's get back to the Gesselschaft and start using the many items we picked up to get some valuable work done. Good to know, though, that our next trip, we have just one thing to do, and that's to confront the boss. Though I have not the slightest idea how we're supposed to even damage it. It also does seem that all of the broken walls will stay broken, so we don't need to bring the bazooka back with us. Thank goodness. Alright, let's start the post-mission meeting. We didn't get that much more money, but... These are all the things we were able to get on this mission. Here are the Serbots whose brains ratings went up. Number 5 went to 3, so you are almost maxed. Number 21 went to 3, so you're getting closer. And there's a Sir lazy Servbot somewhere. Someone has hit a Sloth rating of 4, thank goodness. Whoever hit the Sloth rating of 4, we can't use them in missions until we fix that. So, we got a few things to do. Let's see, first off... We are going to head over to the lab, and we got a few deliveries to make. First, we're going to make a delivery to number 30. With this tank, we should be able to raise the Gustav's energy to the maximum, but it looks like there's still maybe a little room left on the Gustav, doesn't it? I guess? Well, what can you do with this? We are giving you the rusted tank. What do you think of that? It may be a little rusty, but it's still pretty good, eh? You bet our science can't duplicate this technology yet. But if we repair it, we should be able to attach it to the Gustav. It won't make the Gustav too heavy or anything, will it? No, I wonder what the ancients used to make of these. Well, let's give it a try. There. We got the E-Tank P. Interesting. The Gustav's maximum energy rating has gone up. This means you should have less to worry about in battle. We'll attach it right away. So, we got another energy tank. Nice. Next up, we want to talk to number 34. I'm working on a new kind of armor right now. If you find anything that's really tough, please give it to me for study. Well, I do have something to give you. How would an iron plate do? This iron plate is hard, yet flexible enough to be shaped. I can use this to make even stronger armor for the Gustav. Excellent, excellent. Next up, let's go ahead and see what we can buy. Oh god, the hard armor is a million zenny. Well, we will be getting to this in due time, I promise you, we will be buying it all. But let's save that for now. Next up, we're going to head to the meeting room, and we're going to talk to number 10. Miss Tron, are there really 40 of us servbots? Of course there are. Some of them might be out of scouting or in working in rooms so you don't see them, but... There's 40 of you, don't worry. That's good, I was wondering where we all were. Alright, I do have something to give you number 10. How about an ancient pistol? Hey, this is a Tokarev. They were really famous hundreds of years ago. 
Any gun collector would love to add this to his collection. This is amazing. I feel like I could do anything now that I've got this. And number 10 became our next sniper. What is that, five snipers now? Next up, we're gonna talk to 35. We wanna change the Gustav's colors? Yes, but actually give me a moment. I wanna give you something first. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, we dropped them! We dropped them! No! We dropped them when we died. Alright, fair enough. We'll just get them on the next loop. Okay, well, I was gonna... I was gonna give you a memento, but... Fine. Our next color that we are going for is the dark look. Okay, you want it to look dark, right? I'll have it ready by your next mission. We'll, 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 pit, we'll just pick up the memento and the old instrument the next time we go through. It's fine. I wasn't intending to get them this time anyway. At least we got the rusted tank iron plate and ancient pistol. Alright then, with that, our next destination is finally checking out the torture room. When your first serve butt hits a sloth rating of 4, the, tr uh, the torture room becomes available. Number 20, how you doing? This room has a lot of interesting looking equipment in it. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about what you might do with it. I think I'll be spending a lot of time in here. Oh, if you say so. How are your stats, by the way? Two, three, and four. I want to get your brains to four. So how's a brain cube sound, friend? Number 20's brains are now at four, learning the skill Grenade. Beautiful. All right then, what is this punish? Well, when a serve bot is lazy, when they have allowed their sloth to become the maximum it will go. They won't do anything else until you find a way to make them not lazy. We have two lazy serve bots, number 34 and number 40. Number 34, I'm disappointed in you. Do you want an explanation of the torture room? Let's do it! Use the torture room tools to reduce the serve bot's sloth rating to zero in 30 seconds. Square is spikes, circle is flame jets, X is weight. All right, let's do it. Please forgive me, Miss Tron. No, I'm gonna teach you not to goof off. Are you ready? Go. I'm so sorry, serve bot. So we wanna go in a good rhythm. Oh God, I keep going early on the weights. But every time we hurt them, it reduces quite a bit of their sloth. Just gotta keep going and we will get them in due time. Shit. Keep going early on the wait. Oh, I've, it appears I have royally screwed this up. Well, have you learned your lesson? What do you think you're doing? I could have been killed! Number 34 wasn't cured of his laziness. All right, let's try again because I screwed that up. I had my timings off. Number 34, I am going to punish you. I hate this so much. I honestly hate this. I don't want to punish them. They're so cute. We just got to make sure we're actually hitting them with every trap. Oh, you lucky jerk. Do I have to get it perfect? I might have to get this perfect. Oh, you keep speeding up? I don't appreciate that. Alright, third time's the charm. We'll get them on the third round. Seriously, how is our armor developer so lazy?
Well, have you learned your lesson? I won't goof off again, I promise! Number 34's laziness has been cured. I'm gonna be honest, I hate this. I, I don't I don't like punishing serve bots. Also, it's just really hard. But I also just don't like punishing serve bots. They don't deserve it. They're so nice. Okay. Well, let's see. Now that we have cured number 34 of their laziness, what was the next thing on the list? Right. How we generally deal with preventing laziness. If you don't use serve bots for anything, they will over time become more slothful. Once they hit their slothful rating of 4, they need to be tortured. Or you can't use them anymore. The way to prevent this is to give them energy cubes or take them on missions. So I'm going to be giving these friends energy cubes and taking them on missions. Alright, let's see. Is there anything else I actually need to do though, other than giving a few energy cubes around? I'm curious, how much slothfulness does an energy cube, uh, cube cure? You're the one who needs it. Yes, you have three, so we're gonna give you an energy cube. And it only goes down by one. Shoot. So it's one energy cube per sloth rating. Uh-oh. That could be tricky. Alright then. I don't... Mm, let's see. Let's see. What do we still have to do? We've unlocked basically everything on the Gessel Shaft. There's only a couple things left that we haven't been able to do yet. And it's mostly from the items that we originally got from Mission 4 and then lost because we died. Um, as well as a few things we can get from the third levels of a few of the missions. Specifically Mission 1? There's an item in Mission 1, level 3 that we can get that'll let us do more stuff on the Gessel Shaft, but... We've, well, other than that, we've basically done everything we can with the servbots other than max them out and make sure the last couple have their skills. We have almost all of their skills, too. If we look through the list, number 15's missing a skill because you need your speed up and I need a speed cube for that. Number 28's missing a skill. Uh, I think you need an item from mission 1 level 3? No, no, that's for number 36. What does number 28 need? 28 needs... You're in Teasel's room. Uh, looks like I need to... I don't have anything listed for you. Is it just training? But I don't have anything listed for you. That's odd. Number 28 might get their skill from training, then. Alright, then. Um, and yeah, no, that's it. Those are the last two who don't have their skills. You need speed, and you probably need training. So yeah, we're almost entirely done with the Gesso Shaft. Uh, between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and train number 20 to max them out, given that we have access to them now. Uh, and I'm going to try and make sure that as few Serbots are as slothful as possible. And then next time on the Misadventures of Tron Bon, we are actually coming up on the end of the game. Each of the missions only has one level left, so... I guess next time on the Misadventures of Tron Bon, we begin our last loop through all of the missions. Starting with finishing off the bank robbery in Mission 1. But we already robbed the bank. Well, I suppose we'll just have to rob another bank then, huh? I'll see everyone next time as we begin our last loop through the missions.